Good evening YouTube viewers and subscribers. I have something very different for me here. This, some of you OS fanatics will realize, is an OS FS95V engine. Now this is somewhat uncharacteristic for me because I typically don't buy OS engines that are made after like say 1995 through 97. That's just my opinion when their quality began to go down. <coughs> Excuse me, I made an exception here. I was kind of curious about these newer four-stroke engines. In fact, this is actually one of the few engines I've reviewed or looked at lately that's actually still a current production engine. This engine was introduced to the market in 2011, which makes it quite modern. And I find it interesting that OS decided to adapt this style split style rocker again when the first time they tried it was with this engine here. This is an OS FS120 pre surpass. Well, looks like. That didn't go over so well, work out so well for them then, so I'm curious as to why they decided to adopt that. So, this engine is obviously a, clearly a used engine, as you can see by the carbon deposits here. And one of the things that really turned me off to this engine when they first came out and I saw them for the first time was this whole muffler assembly. I just thought this was the most ridiculous thing I had ever seen in my life. Um, maybe it's really helps the sound level and maybe the tone how it sounds on videos I've seen online they do sound really nice but it's just really odd looking it looks like a two-stroke engine uh, muffler so that was kind of one of the things that soured me on these things but you know I figured what the heck I'll give it a shot and I happen to find this one used from RC groups from a RC groups member that kind of gets a lot of flack for some of the things he sells. I took a chance on this. There weren't a whole lot of pictures, there were only two. So I'm looking this over now basically for the first time and you know, hoping I didn't screw up in buying this. <clears throat> I may end up in just doing one of these things where I clean it up, run it, <clears throat> make a few videos and then flip it. I don't know. Maybe I'll fall in love with it. But my first impression is it's got considerable run time. Now, it does turn over. That's a good thing. It's got pretty darn good compression. But again, this muffler looks like there's quite a bit of carbon residue there. The other thing is the mounting lugs look fine. It does have some discoloration on the casing here, which I don't think I'm going to be able to clean. This may be one of those things where you just can't clean this thing up and make it look really nice again. I'm going to try the best I can because I really don't like having nasty looking engines. But this carb barrel is completely frozen. I mean, this thing unscrews and that's it. That, that screw loosened up there. So the carb is frozen up. The needle valve still rotates. So we've got good compression here. But uh, we'll start tearing this engine down. I don't think I want to do a box to the bench run on this. Obviously I can't because the carb isn't functioning properly. So this is uh, my quick look which is going to go directly into a look inside this engine primarily because of the carb. So this was the quick look at the OS FS 95V engine. Still a production engine introduced to the market in 2011.